So now we need to talk about uh, a couple of different things that could happen when you try to solve a problem, uh, a linear programming problem. So one thing that can happen is that in many real world problems, we have a lot of variables, a lot of constraints, and we can have more than one optimal solution. So we defined optimal as the best. So then the question becomes, how can we have two or more solutions that are the best? Does everyone get to go home with a trophy? No. Uh, so if you think about what makes it the best, it's the value of the objective function. So in our case, we had um, $5,040 for our 480-240 solution. Right? So that would mean we'd have to come up with a different production scheme other than 480-240 that would still result in the $5,040 in weekly profit. Right? In two dimensions, what does this have to look like? Well, because we're guaranteed an optimal solution at a corner point, that means that we would have two corner points that would be have the same objective function value. So what that really means is that our our uh, objective function coincides with the line segment between those two points, which means we have an infinite number of optimal solutions. Right? Uh, do we want to have these ties? Um, you can argue either way. One argument for the the ability to have more than one best solution is that it gives us options. Right? So if we can find the other optimal solution, it gives us options, and one of them might be more attractive than another based on some other stuff that was not captured in our mathematical model. Remember, we had to abstract reality, make assumptions to get it into the model form, and so maybe we didn't capture everything exactly right, and so maybe some of that extra information was not conveyed to us properly or in a fashion that we could model it. Right? So let's go back to um, our example and change the profit for space race to $3.75 and keep phasers at $5. Alright, so let me get my spreadsheet. Oops, wrong one. Here's the spreadsheet. Alright, and I'm going to go back to the original here and copy it and put it at the end. And this is Mult opt. And so what I'm saying is I want to change the eight dollars to three dollars seventy five cents. So notice that I didn't haven't solved it yet, but here the result here says three thousand dollars. And notice also that this three dollars seventy five cents was at the um, low end of the range of optimality. Right? So keep that in mind. So now let's go ahead and zero this out and run it and solve it and I'm maximizing everything should be okay kick out a um, let's go ahead and kick out a sensitivity report and we see that we should not produce any space rays but 600 lots of phasers for a total profit of three thousand dollars right? In this one, we're using up all our labor, not using up all the plastic, not using all this up, not using all that up. All right. So, um, why do I think this has a multiple, has more than one optimal solution? Well, I when we before before I zeroed this out, it was 480-240, and it was three thousand dollars. Well, zero six hundred gives me three thousand dollars. That means that I know what the other optimal solution is. But let's look at the sensitivity report and see if we can figure out something that might help us. So if we, if we ever get something like this for our output, our space rays, final value of zero and a reduced cost of zero, that is a very good hint that there are multiple optimal solutions to the problem. Because remember what the reduced cost is saying. It's saying, how much do I have to... Uh, reduce the cost of this guy or raise the profit to um, in order to have it come into the solution something other than zero. This is saying I don't have to change the profit, the objective function coefficient from 375 to anything. Right? It doesn't have to go up anymore. 
and it should come in. So that's saying yes, that means it, it probably will have an optimal, another optimal solution. Right? So how do we go about finding the other one other than knowing what it is? Uh, so let's do this. What you need to do, remember, we're going to do this based off of this $3,000. What we need to do is we need to take the objective function, use it as a constraint, and set it equal to the value that we got for the objective function value, 3,000. So let's force space ray, right? Uh, no, actually, let's do this. Let's, let's find let's, uh, set objective function value. So we have 375, we have 5, and over here it's going to be a strict equality, 3,000. Right? So that's one part. The second part is now, after I've moved the objective function into a constraint, I need to maximize all of the variables that were zero, which is s. So I'm going to maximize s. Right. So I'm going to zero these guys out. I'm going to go here and go into the solver. I need to add the constraint. Left hand side, that sum product is equal to the $3,000. Click OK. So that shows up there. And now my objective is no longer F2. I'm just going to point it to S. I'm going to max, there's only one of them, right? So I can do this. I'm going to maximize S, the number that I do, because it was zero before. So we're thinking that it should come in, so I'm just going to maximize it. Uh, and then click Solve. Click OK. And we see that 48240 is our other solution for three thousand dollars right and everything else is met so now it's it's binding these two constraints plastic and labor right. so that's how you find multiple optimal solutions right so again the clue was that the final value and the reduced cost are both zero right and then we put the back in the convert the objective function to a constraint and then change the objective function to maximize all the variables that were zero, in this case, with just S, to maximize those. Uh, now, you might have multiple optimal solutions even when the value of the decision variable and its reduced cost are both not zero. Um, so one of them might be a number, right? Um, so there are other ways to look at it. We're not going to focus on it too much. but. If you want to look at this example, go back, change space rays to nine bucks, spacers to four fifty, right, and run it and see what you get, and then try to see if you can come up with multiple optimal solutions to the problem.